Hello guys and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. And what is this new Let's Play series you ask? Well, it's... Yeah, let the intro speak for itself. Now as you can see, I've already done a playthrough of this game and I have to to do what I want to do. Sadly, I can't show you what happens on your first playthrough. So, balls. I gave it a shot, but... Damn it, Flowey, fourth wall breaking fool. Anyways, what we have to do is reset. So, let's get this adventure started, guys. And yes, I know Psychic Pie should be watching. If he does, please don't quit because it might not be the most exciting thing. Alright, this is it. This is who I am. This is the main character, the fallen child. Look at my blank expression, that always permanent, seriously, face. All I can do is head right, I guess, and through this door. Remember, this time you've got to become friends with everyone. Okay? If you don't, you'll be miserable forever! And we wouldn't want that, would we? No, we just want you to be happy, right? Good luck! The scene is different because I've beaten the game once. Hello. Are you alright? You must be so lost and confused. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. I will do my best. I will do my best to protect you during your time here. Come, I shall guide you through the catacombs. I don't need no guide. I've done this game already. The shadow of the ruins loom above, filling me with determination. HP fully restored. Yes. Save points will fully restore your health. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Sadly, this first video is pretty much going to be a tutorial of stuff. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. By the way, Toriel is the goat mom. I like goat mom. She's a goat. Press C to read signs. Okay. Jeez, that wasn't very helpful. Stay on the path. Well, that's pretty blunt. Please press this switch. Toriel. Yeah, Toriel will give us the two Toriel. Get it? Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Alright, let's go. Let us go, Goat Mom. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Alright, let's do that. And this is your battle screen and all that. This is how you fight. Fight while I do attack the enemy, which will set you on the Geno... Well, before I start this... I'm going to tell you now, this game, this our LP is going to be full of spoilers. Do not watch it if you do not want the game spoiled for you in any way. If you don't care about that kind of stuff, then continue watching. Anyways, this is our fight screen. Fight will set you down the genocide path. To do this, kill 15 enemies in the ruins, not counting this dummy. Axe was pretty much for the pacifist, and so was Mercy. So let's do what she said. Let's talk. I talked to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with me. Yay, Goat Mom likes me. Ah, very good. You are very good. Alright, jeez. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. To solve the puzzle, you see this path here? That's the solution. Oh no, Froggit attacks us. Let's compliment it. Froggy didn't understand what I said, but was flattered anyway. 
Yeah, don't fuck with goat mom. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. See? Sadly, even if you know what to do, this is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Now, I should state these will be 30 minute videos, 20 if it's if I need to, but they should be up to around 30 minutes, because this is an RPG. Not a very long one, though. That's all that, yeah. Puzzles seem to be a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently so thus far. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Oh, that's so ten. That, that's so bad. That's so hard. Forgive me for this. No, go, mom. Don't leave me. Come back. Ah, I can't take it. Spazzing out. Freaking out, guys. Just look at my face. It doesn't give a shit. Seriously, this face. I guess I'll watch this, watch this. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillow the whole time, even though you clearly talked to me. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to go alone. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If any, if you have need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Eh, yeah, let's not listen to her. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Let's give her a call. Let's flirt with Scout Mom. Let's cheat on everyone I know. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Huh? Oh, heh, <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Hell, you're a hot goat, Mom. Goats are hot. Oh dear, are you serious? I do not know if this is pathetic or endearing. Click. Hopefully it's loud enough for you guys. I did a bunch of test recordings. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they may not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Right, let's go up. What's up here? It says take one. A piece, take a piece of candy? Sure, why not? You hit C to open that menu I've been opening constantly. Do a save point. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills me with determination. Save our game. Yeah, sadly we only get one chance to save. There's no other save slots. Alright, let's compliment him again. He was flattered anyway. Aw, he blushed deeply. And with that, we spare him. Yes, to earn gold, you'll still you to at least still earn gold. You'll wanna spare the monsters by doing it my way. If not, you can just uh, flee the battle, but you'll get nothing for it. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. Is it cinnamon? Yes, it is. <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I. I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, isn't it not? Well, thank you for your selection. It doesn't matter what you pick. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? you do n I know what your preference is, but would you turn your nose up if you found a it on a plate of yours? Damn it, I cannot speak that. Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way... Really? Hey, what's the sign say? Three out of four gray rocks. Recommend you push them. 
Alright, this is the first one. Alright, we know what to do. He blushes deeply because he loves us. Oh no, what will I ever do? I'll do this. Alright. You'll want to save up your gold, though, seriously. See if I can do this in one shot. No! Please don't step on the leaves. That's actually a hint. If you fall down here a lot, way too much, actually, the puzzle will pretty much solve itself. The holes will get tired of your shenanigans. Hey, it's a whimsum. It's pretty much like a Fluttershy. I have no choice. Ow. Ow. Oh, I should explain the battle system a little better when I get into another battle. Oops. Yeah, I ain't doing this on the first shot. Alright, come on, I can get this. Alright, I told you how all this works, but once you uh, do something, you'll enter like the evasion mode or something, this'll happen, you'll become your little heart. And use your arrow keys to move and dodge projectiles. Now your heart color will actually determine what kind of stuff you'll be dodging. If it's red, like it is now, you'll be able to freely move around and dodge stuff. Alright, with them both yellow named, we can now end the battle. Alright, there's rock number two. Yeah, we can immediately spare it. Rock number three. Hey, there's number four. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? <laughs> so you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. It's like a male Applejack. Hmm? You don't want me to... You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No! Oh, that was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Thank you. That's not very nice. You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout, Sugar Cube. Alright, now we can cross that little bridge. Save point. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills me with determination. And that people is a mame. This cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? You have no choice, so... Here comes Napstablook! What we want to do is cheer him on! We gave Napstablook a patient smile. Heh. Ouch. Napsta Bluke looks just a little bit better. Let's keep cheering him on and make him happy. I told Napsta Bluke a little joke. Hehe. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Cheering seems to have improved Napsta Bluke's mood again. Napsta Bluke wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluke. Do you like it? Napstablook eagerly awaits my response. Oh, gee. I usually come here to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. It's very kind of you, sir. Alright, we should have the gold to do this. Go to this spider hole. Leave 7G. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. It'll give us a spider donut. Now, you don't have to get it, but if you do, do not eat it. Did you miss it? Spider bake sailed down into the right. Come eat food made spider by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. Ribbit, ribbit. Uh, my friend never listens to me. 
Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Yeah, this game is just full of fun jokes and fourth wall breaks and stuff. It's a really good game. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of f three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Well, jeez. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite a merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? It's very helpful, sir. It's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is not saying is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Alright, here we got a Mold Small and a Mygosp. Now, the Mygosp will hate our guts until that little slime dude is gone, so spare! And now he'll be happy! Look at that cute little dude. Don't touch him, he'll hurt. And that's it, just spare. Very simple stuff. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might need see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Sadly, you have very limited space, at least at first. There is just one switch. Right, first of all, let's head down this hole. Just down here we have... A faded ribbon. It's our first piece of armor. Yay. Oh no. Alright, we know what to do here. If you talk to him, which is the only act you can do, he'll say hi, yeah. In kind of a flirty way. Alright, now we want to head down this hole. Because this is where that switch is. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Alright, remember where those are. It would be very helpful. So if we talk behind this, it's a switch. Press it. You hear a clicking sound. Those signs will tell you what color switch to push. Oh, why not? I might as well show it off. If you can read this, press the red switch. Yeah, simple stuff. A pair of looks decided to pick on you. Uh, let's not pick on them. Finally, someone gets it. Ow. Let's not pick on them. Yeah, not much to talk about. Let's just spare them. Nice 10 gold, though. So let's move onwards. Behind this pillar is what we want to do. Yes, I want to press it. Alright, mercy. Yeah, I noticed the frame rate's a little choppy in the recording. It's not horrible, but it'll be something I have to fix. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Awesome. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Let's do exactly that. Sleep in this bed.
If we leave our bed, look at that! She left us a piece, a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Alright, let's head left and talk to her. Now, as much as I don't love doing this, we have no choice but to. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many book, old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. I cannot speak. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't a very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What this? This is your new home. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? I'm sorry, but I want to get out of these ruins. How about an exciting snail fact? Do you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting, huh? Yes, it is, but I want to leave the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. No, go, Mom. Get back. Come back, goat mom. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Oh, get back here. Don't be so possessive. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it time again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you not understand? Go to your room. Sorry, I can't do that. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. This is your final warning. I'm going to keep walking. You want to leave so badly? Humph. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. And with that, we're thrust into our first ever boss battle. So to do what we need to do to not do the bad stuff, just spare. And dodge your hard to dodge attacks. Or maybe I just suck. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Just keep sparing her. Yeah, just be very careful. I'm Get quiet during those because I try to focus. So far, we're doing a good job, actually. Ouch. Toriel prepares another magical attack. And now she's starting to question why we're just doing nothing at all and not fighting her. Toriel looks through you. Sorry, Goat Mom, I'm not going to hurt you. What are you doing? Ouch. Toriel is acting aloof. Attack or run away. Fun fact, if you run away from this fight and you try to go stay in the house or whatever, you'll be told that you have no choice but to do this. What are you proving this way? Proving that I'm not a heartless killer. Not that I know any. No, I don't. Fight me or leave me. Toriel looks through me again. Jesus, stop staring at me, you pervert. Toriel looks through me. Stop staring, Jesus. Stop looking at me that way. Well, it's not my fault you keep staring at me. Ouch. She's still staring at me. Go away! Her battle's pretty much a tutorial on boss battles. In a sense. The song that's playing is actually called Heartache. We should almost be done. And now she won't have the... She won't have it in her heart to hurt us. I know you want to go home, but... Please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. 
Haha. -ha. Now, if you're a complete douchebag and you're at this spot and you use the fight command now, you'll instantly kill her and she'll call you out on it. The game will. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even one single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My ex expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly li wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aw, Goat Mom gave us a hug. Goodbye, my child. Goodbye, Goat Mom. You will be missed. Alright, let's head up. And up. And up, and up, and up. It's going on forever. Come on. Now, normally, Flowey would encounter you here, but since I've beaten the game once, he won't. That's just my guess, though. Now, if you were playing the demo version, that's where it would end, actually. Huh? There's a camera hidden behind these bushes. Well, in them. Well, this is creepy. Hey, a stick. It's a tough-looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Aww. Oh, shit. Is someone following us? Let's just keep heading right, guys. I swear I heard something that time. Human. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before. I said it too. Before I said to you. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars way too wide to stop anyone. I have no control. It's just a cutscene. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro. You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, oh, I don't want to look. I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the great and powerful Trix, I mean Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you're not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. 
Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone! Ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. But we'll have to call it an episode here. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Because I've went over 30 minutes, so let's stop the video here. So what awaits us here in this snowy place? Well, we'll just have to find out in the next episode, so stay tuned for more Let's Play Undertale.